So we just did Philhar Magic here in Disneyland Paris, which is here temporarily for Mickey's birthday celebration. And because it's temporary, it's in a theater that of course was not built for Philhar Magic like it was in Magic Kingdom. Yep. So it's uh it's different. Um I'm glad we did it though, but like it's it's a normal size screen and what they should have said at the very very beginning of the show it should have popped up and said yeah. this film has been modified from its original version to fit your screen like something like that <laughs> because it just started small to be like the part when they're on stage and then it just went to its normal size screen which is not wide or anything special but like they d it did fine and I think it's totally entertaining if you haven't seen it before I think they're doing the same thing in Disneyland right now I heard and it's the same exact thing but I'm pretty sure very very likely that that theater housed Captain EO before because the decorations seem just like it it is like picture the Captain EO um, honey I shrunk the audience theater turned into fill our magic that's what it is um, what was cool and what I did like that would make Phil Hard Magic even better in Magic Kingdom cool. is if the seats, yeah, the seats move, the floor moves, because it's that theater that can like bounce you and stuff. That was cool. And if you have motion sickness, that adds, like, that's a whole new level of something that could make you feel a little bit it was sick. Cool. You liked it? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. So that was cool. No um, smells. No smells. No smells. The water is not able to spritz you just a little. It's just like one splash. So we would get like one splash for the big bucket in the Sorcerer's Apprentice. You got a splash? Yeah, you didn't get a splash? No. No, oh, they're old seats. Um, but it wasn't like the buckets weren't like the little buckets when they're doing it in Florida. It's like splash, splash, splash. And then when it's the big one, it's like poo. And for us, we just got one big one. Oh, I have to talk about how Half of it was in French and half was in English. And the best part, um, they, so it opens with Lumiere, you know, the first scene is the Be Our Guest and Lumiere lights the match, you know, and he says, bonjour. And he starts speaking in French after he says bonjour. And that made me laugh out loud. That was super funny because here it is like, oh, this is the exact same thing we're used to. Nope. So everything was like half French, half English. A whole new world was completely French. Um, but part of your world was like half and half, um, so that was fun. But Donald kept speaking in English, so you could at least understand that he was looking for his hat. Bon, très bien, bon, 
Power Rangers de l'espace, écoutez attentivement. Zerg ont utilisé les générateurs à cristaux fusion pour alimenter son arme secrète. Pendant que vous autres vous concentrerez sur les robots. Vous vous retrouverez sur la planète Z. Quant à moi, je resterai ici à Starman pour commander la mission. There it is. Attention, Space Rangers. Your space cruisers will now be restarted. Caleb, what did you just learn? What is it? Your shields will be lowered. Are you excited? <laughs> Check it out! Woo, woo, woo. Okay, we're exiting through the gift shop, like any good ride. Just got off Buzz. Buzz was really cool. Way better than the other Disney World because you can take the thing out, which is great. Turns out I'm on my way to become a galactic hero, which is pretty great. Uh, it's uh, pretty much the highest status you can attain in Discovery Land. Okay, so Buzz is amazing. So much cooler than in Disney World because, number one, the gun comes off. But even if it didn't, everything is just done better. The scenes are better, everything is more 3D and less 2D. <laughs> There's a giant Zerg in the middle of the ride and like you see Buzz multiple times. Like it's very, very cool. Um, I think it's much better than what we have in Disney World. So that was fun and we get to do it again and I'll show you more video next time. There is Hyperspace Mountain and the Nautilus, and we are headed over here to do the walkthrough for the Nautilus. More stairs. Oh, they're like mini rides with no line. For Bogey. Look at this fun turnstile, Kayla. Oh, my backpack doesn't fit. I made it. Like you. Listen for the screams from Hyperspace Mountain. Oh, that's gonna be me later. Is this the end of the Nautilus? I am going to ride Hyperspace Mountain now. It's a 45 minute single rider line and Caleb doesn't do roller coasters, so I'm gonna go do that while he hangs out in Cafe Hyperion and I'm not gonna vlog it. So I'll tell you what I think when I'm done. Cafe Hyperion is like a giant dinner theater or something. I don't know what it's used for, but most of the seating is tables and then all of this is benches. Right now, they're just playing Mickey shorts. Probably in French. So I just rode Hyperspace Mountain okay. and it was really fun and I was expecting a like cheap stupid Star Wars overlay and thinking like that's dumb they didn't need to do that but it was actually very well done and it made sense that it was Star Wars overlay like it 
might as well have been a Star Wars ride from the beginning. Honestly, they did a good job. Um, so there was like like lasers shooting at you and like stars everywhere and whatever. But like it definitely felt like rock and roller coaster, but better in most ways. Like it was smoother. I enjoyed the upside down parts more. Like there was one loop de loop and one corkscrew, and there was a launch. But the launch in this one shoots you up, and it was really really fun. But the launch in Rock and Roller Coaster um, shoots you into a loop de loop, and I prefer the launch shooting you up. That was more fun, and it, the seats were far more comfortable too because the things that you brought down over your head um, was were made out of like this malleable material that could like hug your body so that you could move a little. So like you were safe, but like it let your shoulders move a little, so you didn't feel as confined and like uncomfortable when you went upside down and everything. Um, so yeah, honestly, I enjoy that more than rock and roller coaster a lot. Wow. I know they're not really the same thing, but and then as far as Space Mountain to Space Mountain goes, I feel like they're totally different. Yeah. Like they can't even be compared. Um, I, I am a fan of the classic, but but this was cool. It was fun. And I didn't hate the Star Wars part, so that's good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go ride Buzz with our Fast Pass. <laughs> you have nefarious crew, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zerg. has been closed all day and it kept saying on the app we'll reopen soon so either it's been open and we didn't know it or what I don't know but we're going on small world yay
inside the boat and remain seated until you are on the beach floor. Thank you. We are doing a walk on Pirates of the Caribbean last ride of the night.